Oh, that was a bit of a big old day, that was, mentally. I've got two lots of mucks. And today, we're doing a common task, removing a load-bearing wall. We've actually got two load-bearing walls to remove and we're installing three RSJs. All three of these are going to be sunk in the ceiling as well. Pulled in on the driveway to protect it, get some sheeting down, get all the tools in. Right, so all the propping's now done. We've got dot and dab plasterboard on these walls. We're going to take that off first. This is a stud wall sort of a decorative arch, not doing a great deal. So we do that as well, get that off. Just so we know what we're dealing with really. And then we're just taking the masonry down, it'll come down a lot easier. So let's have a little look, it's all going well. That little lump's come out nice and easily. This was a stud wall, so that's gone. We've took the dot and dab off this so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. That only stops there as well. So we've got all our props in place. So we're gonna do this one next, and then we'll just work our way down. That's coming down in that corner there. Right, so we've got the laser set up where our steel beam's gonna go on this right hand side. We've allowed a little bit of tolerance, so 10 mil overall, or eight mil, should I say, just to give you a bit of clearance. We're using the Sigman laser level, kindly sent out by Sigman. So we're gonna be trialing this out today. Looks like a decent bit of kit. So far, so good. So let's just walk you round. We've got a steel beam coming off of this wall here. So we've, we've cut out the joists ready so we can sink that RSJ flush in there. Uh, that block work right the way through. So we've got to move these, cut these pipe works out of the way right the way through. And it's gonna sit on the spreader plate over there. So essentially you got one coming from right that side to that side. This one through there, notched into it there. And then where that wall steps back, we've got another little one coming in this side of it. So get in there. So it's a lot more work involved when you're countersinking these RSJs. And there's quite a lot of things to think about, i.e. cables and pipe work. So if anyone's gonna be doing it themselves, it's a good idea to get the ceilings down first. Well, I would probably say nine times out of 10, you're gonna have services passing through where these steels are going. So you may have to do some fabricating on site, drill some bigger holes. So make sure you've got a good plumber and a good sparky on standby. 12 o'clock, I'm gonna have a bit of lunch. Time's just gone up the road and got KFC in. <laughs> what is it, a bu mega bargain bucket? Uh, uh, mighty bucket for one. Mighty, mighty bucket for one, chips. And supercharger mayo, let's have it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh. Right, there you go. Stills are here. Nice and heavy. So, we've got the two smaller ones. Notch that, let it go. A couple of holes in. We've got our cleats, that's going to be our connection detail. And then we've got the main long one. So, that's probably us for today. I'm going to pick up the timbers in the morning, ready to go. Bring the little access dolly trolley in. Uh, we'll drill the holes in, get the timber blocking done, nice and tight, and then we'll start installing them. So yeah, stay tuned. Morning guys, how are we doing? We're in full swing here, fabricating these steels. We left them a bit long, because on the last one we did, we went to, well, basically the internal skin was timber, and we had to make huge alterations. So on this one, we got them a bit longer, just in case we had to go a little bit longer on the bearings and stuff like that. So we need to cut them down. So I've got my marks, so I'm going to multi-tool the blocking out, cut them down. I've got to do that one and this one. Timber blocking's all in, so I'll show you how we do that. You want the timber flush with the steel here, so the distance between the web and there, you cut some packers down, in this case was 30 mil, drilled some holes in it, and then we bolted it through with M12 studs. Get it onto there, or, yeah. yeah, we'll go right up a bit. Yeah. And I'll just put it on two props, you can't fall that way. No, 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 it's, it's in the gap. It's out there, and then we can, and then we can pull the other one in. Slide it into it, Slide it back in, yeah. We'll slide that one a little bit more now. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Yeah. Line this up where I need it. Yeah, that's pretty good there. That's a little bit going up now, see, that's all right. Right guys, we have removed all of the props because all the hangers are in. So everything's now safely supported by the steels. The steels themselves have been supported by just the important macros, one either in there, one up there, and one here until these pads, spreader plates go off. So I've got two sets of muck, two buckets. This is building sand, four and one. Four building, one cement, which is, quite wet so bricky's marking in there i've got sharp sand and cement and that's going to be for a lean mix to go underneath the spreader plate just so it sits nice and tight
this and we are done. So uh, if you made it to the end, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, you want to see more like this, then give us a follow so you get notified for the next one. Take care and I'll see you soon.